Hi everybody. Today my topic is structure degrees of freedom. In order to generate structural stiffness matrix and complete the subsequent analysis, it is necessary to establish a global coordinate system which defines the position of nodes and their displacement. That is why the stuff, I mean the stiffness matrix for an entire structure is dependent on the number of structural degrees of freedom which corresponds with the joint or nodal displacement. Let's move ahead to see what is structural degrees of freedom. In this structure, both side, this node 1 and node 2. This node is fixed. Also this node is fixed. So there is no translation and rotations. That is why I wrote here no degrees of freedom. If no translation and no rotations, so there will be no degrees of freedom. Here, in this structure, if we look at the base, this is actually cantilever. Here it is fixed support, base of the cantilever. So, both translation and rotation is restrained. So, in node 1, Translation and rotation is restrained. But here, this del 1 and there is del 2. One is translational, another is rotational. So, del 1. I mean this free to move horizontal direction and rotate. Free to move horizontal direction, this one. And rotate, this one. So, there is two degrees of freedom. That's why I wrote here two degrees of freedom. Here, node 1, same as before, restrained in both translation and rotation. In node 2, node 2, there is translation and there is rotation. And node 3, there is rotation. 
but here one important thing is here also there is translation and here also translation as it is in the same direction in the same line that is why i wrote here horizontal movement at node 2 is the same as that at node 3 that is why i put horizontal notation here this is del 1 and rotational here del 2 here rotational del 3 so how many we got we got 1 2 3 so we got 3 degrees of freedom Already I mentioned here node 2 is free to move in horizontal direction and rotate. Already I explained. Then node 3 is free to rotate. So there is 3 degrees of freedom. Here, there are lot of node, we can see here node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 nodes. So, all the places there is a rotation except this because this is fixed there is no translation there is no rotation here all other there is rotations but here i wrote here elements are assumed actually rigid then horizontal movement at node 12 same as that at node 13 if you look at this line, this node 12 and node 13, it is on the same line. So, there is horizontal movement I put here only for both. That is I wrote horizontal movement at node 12 same as that at node 13. Similarly, for node 9, 10, 11, look at this 9, 10, 11, I put here one arrow horizontal movement and also for node 5, node 6, node 7, node 8 also for these four nodes I put here horizontal movement. So we got here horizontal movement here, here, here. That's why I wrote 3 degrees of freedom due to sway or translation. So we got 3 here. Still we have lots remaining but step by step we are proceeding. So for these 3, I counted 3 degrees of freedom. Now, all of the internal joints can ro rotate producing 9 degrees of freedom due to rotations. So this rotation, how many nodes? That degrees of freedom we have to count. So it is written 9 degrees of freedom. We can check it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have to cut this 3. We are taking only here. You are taking only this part. All of the internal joints can rotate producing 9 degrees of freedom due to rotation. We are not at the supports. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This. Now we can go for supports. So, three of the supports 
can rotate whilst one the roller can also move horizontally here we can see three here one two three this already we discussed at the beginning we told this is fixed so there is nothing here so here there is a three rotations for this roller there will be one horizontal movements so there is how many three of the supports can rotate whilst one the roller can also move horizontally so here we got four there we got three so four are three seven here we got nine so 9 plus 7 total is 16 so we got total number of degrees of freedom is 16 here that's all for today thanks for watching